What's going on on my YouTube videos? I'm Jacob with another movie review for you guys. And continuing on in my series of Universal Classic Monster Reviews, we've made it to the final review in this long-running series. And once again, I'll be joined by Esley Greer from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews as we review the third and final film of The Creature from the Black Lagoon trilogy, 1956, The Creature Walks Among Us. In The Creature Walks Among Us, the Gill Man is turned into an air breather by a mad scientist. The Creature Walks Among Us was released in 1956, and this was the third and final film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon series. Unlike the first two films, Jack Arnold did not direct this third film, and it pretty much shows. Jack Arnold had a vision, I think, for the other two Creature films, even though there were a lot of mixed aspects in Revenge of the Creature. I still enjoyed the direction and the vibrance that he brought to those two Creature from the Black Lagoon films. And the director they got to replace Jack Arnold just failed to live up to the challenge, in my opinion. Now, there are a couple aspects in this movie that I do really like. There are some good ideas in here on paper. I like, I'd say the first 15 minutes of this movie are not bad. There are some great underwater shots in this movie. And the shots with the creature underwater are still pretty impressive visually. And then there's certain ideas that you could have done. Could have been interesting, like experimenting on the creature and the whole idea of trying to tame the creature and calm the creature. And the only time the creature reacts badly is if he witnesses violence. That's not a bad idea. You could have done something with that, but unfortunately, at the end of the day, this is the weakest film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon franchise. This was the dullest film in the Creature films. There, there was not one character in this movie that I liked. All the human characters were boring. Not even the female lead in this film. At least the female lead was beautiful to look at, and I guess she's beautiful to look at in this movie, but... I just did not find the character remotely likable. I guess that was a big problem that I had. There's like this insane love triangle that's going on because she has a pretty abusive husband and she's flirting with other people in this scientific crew. And just the whole drama behind that was very annoying and very tedious. And it took away from some of the interesting stuff in the movie. There could have been interesting stuff with the Gill Man, who is easily the best character in this movie. And... The Gill Man, the creature, just felt sidelined in his own movie, and I just thought that was very disappointing. The other thing that does not work in this movie either is where they take the direction with the Gill Man, because at first I'm like, yeah, there's some great makeup work once again with the creature. It looks as intense as ever. It'll be at least fun to see Gill Man at his work. I mean, the first 15, 20 minutes, there's a couple fun horror sequences in there. And then we dive more into the film, the creature is burned, the creature is captured, he's experimented on, and they try to make the creature more human so he can walk among us. And that's when the film literally jumped the shark pretty much because it gets ridiculous in the last half of the movie because I like the visual design of the creature in the first half of this movie when he's underwater. Then when he's on land, he looks... He, w he goes from this to this. No! What happened to the makeup work? The creature looks like he gained like 100 pounds and wanted to look like a gangster. <laughs> oh, they got more ridiculous as the movie went on. Before I share my final thoughts on the creature from the Black Lagoon, let's hear what Esley Greer from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews has to say on The Creature Walks Among Us. What's going on, Jacob and all his YouTube buddies? My name is Esley Greer from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews, and I'm joining Jacob today for a collab review of the Creature Walks Among Us, which is the third film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon franchise. Really excited to talk about it, so let's talk about it. 
So for my positives, my main positive as always is the creature design. Um, just like in the first and second film, it's really identical to that of the first two films. Um, but we'll get into the later suit later on um, because that is not my positive. Spoiler alert. Um, another thing that I'm a fan of is the lagoon scenes, which just like in the original one. So yeah, that, the score, and the cinematography is decent as well. And that's pretty much all I have for the positives. That's it. So onto my mixed aspects of this film. Like I said, the lagoon scenes are really well done, but everything else in this film that doesn't take place in the lagoon doesn't interest me at all. Um, they do experiments on the creature, which I thought... I wouldn't like that in the second film, but I preferred that film and setting over this one. In this one, they do a lot of experiments on here because they just so happen to burn the creature with third degree burns. And yeah, I'm just going to get into that later on. I know we're still in the mixed aspects. So just the setting itself and the different places that it takes place in. If it was all in the lagoon, again, I would really enjoy this movie and wouldn't have a problem with the setting, but it takes place later on in a house and then on this ranch of sorts. Um, and then there's other scenes on a boat, which we've already seen that two times previously. So the third time, not as well done. Another thing I'm mixed on is the characters in here. Everyone does their job. You know, they're decent actors, but I couldn't really gravitate towards anyone in this film. Even our love interest is not as strong as that in the second or the original one. And there's just some characters I hate, but I'll get into that here in a second. So with that said, on to the negatives. My main negative with this film <laughs> is the creature design later on after they burn him and do experiments on him. There is an aspect to it that I like to where it adapts to its environment. And later on when it's held captive with all these goats and stuff, it doesn't become violent until it sees violent things, which is an aspect I really did like. But the way that the creature looked, oh my god. It just doesn't look right. And the fact that it somehow gained like 150, 200 pounds is weird. Um, you go from this to this and it just doesn't work. Um, it's something that when I saw it, I laughed at it because of how ridiculous it looked. Um, another thing that I did not like about this film are these two specific characters. I know I said there's a love interest in here to where, you know, the female lead, she's flirting with this one guy, but she's still married to this millionaire that just, I hated his character because he was just a piece of crap. Um, and then there's another guy that tries hitting on her and him as a character as well, I could just see him doing worse things if this was like uh, an r-rated film which is all i'm gonna get into with that because that's just stuff i don't want to bring up on this channel or my channel at that so just those characters and that creature design is not for me i am not a fan at all um so with that said it's probably pretty obvious i'm not that big of a fan of this one compared to the first two the first one i believe i gave a 76 percent second one was a 68 this one I'm a bit conflicted on it because there are very few aspects that I do enjoy. Um, there are underwater scenes in here just like that of the original and the second film. Those are really cool. You know, the lagoon scenes are pretty cool. So with that said, I'm going to give The Creature Walks Among Us a 58%. I hate to give it that because I was a fan of the original. I'm sort of mixed on the second one and it has its moments, but this one... I just couldn't really get into it except for, you know, those scenes mentioned. At least this one doesn't have a stupid title like the second one did because somehow in the second one it was Revenge of the Creature when he didn't even get revenge or anything. So, The Creature Walks Among Us, decent title. I'll give it that. So, 58%. Uh, with that said, I want to thank you so much, Jacob, for letting me take part in this collab review for The Creature Walks Among Us. If you want to check out my channel, you are more than welcome to, and make sure to subscribe to Jacob's channel because he's a really awesome guy. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, Esley, for sharing your thoughts on The Creature Walks Among Us. It sounds like we're mostly in agreement on this film, that this is easily the weakest of the three creature films, that... The movie got more ridiculous as it went along. How bad the makeup job was, especially for the creature at the end. And the characters are just so boring and unlikable. I greatly agreed with a lot of your thoughts on The Creature Walks Among Us.
And it's a shame that this is the final film of the Creature from the Black Lagoon films. But a lot of the sequels to a lot of the classic monster films just couldn't live up to how iconic the original films are. Also at that time, it was rare for a sequel to outdo or match the quality of its predecessor. Unlike a lot of the sequels we're getting today where there's a lot of great quality sequels. Back then, it was very rare to have a sequel that would live up to the first. The only one I can think of in the Universal Monster films off the top of my head is The Bride of Frankenstein, which I thought was an improvement over the original Frankenstein and probably my favorite of the classic Universal Monster films in general. But this one was definitely a lackluster way to finish in the Creature films and even the Universal Classic Monster films. It's great that you were a part of this video series reviewing all the Creature from the Black Lagoon films. And if you're unfamiliar with Entertainment Fanatic Reviews, when you're done watching this video, please click the link in the description below to Esley Greer's channel, Entertainment Fanatic Reviews. He does movie reviews, he does vlog videos. He has a lot of different varieties of content on his channel. Definitely give the guy some love, give him a like, give him a subscribe, tell him I sent you, and without further ado, back with my final thoughts on The Creature Walks Among Us. So yeah, there's very little left to say on The Creature Walks Among Us. It's a very forgettable film. I was bored throughout a lot of the runtime. It was more interesting in the second half, but it wasn't for the positives. It's because it, I just thought it was ridiculous seeing the creature walk on land looking like this. That took me out of the movie fast. I didn't like the characters either. The characters were so unlikable and one-dimensional. And the direction wasn't as sharp as what Jack Arnold did in the previous two Creature films. This is easily the weakest film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon franchise. And a pretty lackluster way of wrapping up the Universal Classic Monster series. You'd think it would end on a bang, but in my opinion it ended on a dud. And that's a shame, unfortunately. Thankfully, the great films in the classic monster films are the ones we remember the most. Like, the, usually the first films of each of the monster films, whether Dracula, Frankenstein, Creature from the Black Lagoon, The Wolfman, The Invisible Man, those movies are all well remembered. But a lot of the sequels are the ones that get forgotten about and kind of lost in obscurity because... Watching a lot of these sequels, a lot of them weren't really that good. But the original films were great. And classic, iconic films that shape the horror genre, help inspire the horror genre that's still resonant and powerful and prevalent to this very, very day. So there's a lot of respect that I have with the Universal Classic Monster films, even if the quality ranges from really high to really low. And Creature Walks Among Us is definitely in the really low camp. I didn't enjoy this film, unfortunately. It's the weakest film in the Creature from the Black Lagoon film. And I'm going to give The Creature Walks Among Us a 2 out of 5 stars. And on the 100 point scale, it's getting a 33 out of 100. So that wraps up my review of The Creature Walks Among Us. And I am officially done reviewing all 30 of these films. It took over 2 years, but it was worth it in the end. I enjoyed reviewing all these films, the quality of these movies over the years. Very influential set of horror films, even though the quality is very up and down on them. I'll leave a link in the description below for the Universal Monster playlist, where you can check out all the reviews that I've done in the series from beginning to end. I'm very torn on whether I'm going to do a ranking or not. It just depends on how much time I have. My timing is in a crunch pretty much at the moment because of some busy work hours I've had recently, but... I'll try to do a ranking of the Universal Monster films, but I won't make any guarantees. I got other videos that I have planned to do as well. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out Esley Greer's channel, Entertainment Fanatic Reviews. Thank you, man, for being a part of not just this review, but for the other two creature films as well. I'll leave a link in the description below where you can check out Esley's YouTube channel. If you've seen The Creature Walks Among Us, let me know down in the comments below what you thought of the film. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you mixed on it? But whatever your thoughts are, please be civil and respectful of others. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it so you can be notified of future videos. If this is your first video besides movie reviews, I also do TV reviews, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. 
I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!